Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the unions in C++. A union is nothing but a user defined data type similar to a structure. But in unions, we can only store the value in only one member at a time. That's because the memory is shared between the members of the unions. Unlike the structures where you know each structure member was allocated its own memory, in unions the memory is shared between all the union members. So in unions we can only store one value and we can refer to that value from different different data types. And if you guys don't understand you know what exactly I'm talking about, don't worry, just stick with me, it's gonna be clear. Alright, to define a union in your program, first you need to write the keyword union similar to defining a structure and then the name of the union, let's say EMP for employee and then let's say we have an integer employee ID and we have integer salary or let's say float salary all right now we have two members in this union emp the next thing is how to declare a variable of this union to declare a variable similar to the structures we can uh, uh, write the variable name after this closing curly braces and uh, you know list the variables for example anil rashmit etc etc by separated by comma or we can uh, use this emp and the variable name for example akshay or uh, anjali etc etc and the next thing is about initializing the variable of a union so we can only store only one value that's because in union the memory Will be shared between these two variables let's say we have four bytes so this int is going to take four bytes which we have seen and this float is also going to take four bytes which we have seen by using the size of operator in the previous tutorial so with unions this memory location four bytes will be shared between this id and this salary so when we assign a value to this id it is also available through this salary or when we assign a value to this salary you know it's also accessible using this id for example let's say we have initialized this id to a value of 100 and later if we initialize another value to this salary let's say 10,000 then at that time the value of this id will be lost and the new value will be stored in this location so to demonstrate that here in this tutorial I'm gonna and also you guys can initialize this union variable similar to the way we were initializing the structure variables so I'm gonna initialize here let's say Anjali dot id equal to 25 now the memory location shared between this id and salary are gonna contain the value 25 so this value is available in both this salary and this id members and also make a note that we are using this dot operator you know similar to the way we were accessing the members of a structure variable and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the value using C out so it's gonna be dot ID and I'm gonna build and run this you guys can see we got 25 and here if we add in any other value to this salary then the value of this id will be lost because you know the memory location is shared between the members of a union so this is it guys this is about the unions in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial